First developed in World War I by the British in the aptly named gun carrier Mark I, which mounted a 60 pounder artillery piece onto the chassis of a Mark IV tank to carry it across trenches to support advancing infantry. In the interwar period the British developed the concept further into the more capable birch gun, but it didn't really catch on, and even by the start of World War II everyone was still using towed artillery pieces. This would change over the war, likely due to the accuracy of counter battery fire and the prevalence of recon and attack aircraft, and by the end of the war many nations had invested heavily in self-propelled artillery pieces. Germany had the Vespa, Hummel, Bison, Grilla and Sturmpanzer. America had the M7, the M12, M37, M40 and M41, and Commonwealth troops had the Bishop and the Sexton. The point is, the self-propelled howitzer was here, and it was here to stay.